G'day and welcome to another automatons test, or should I rather say demonstration of my new Jericho missile. Yes, I have been a little busy and I'm sure everyone's disappointed that I'm not showing you how to fix my vanilla drones, but I'm sure Keen Software House will get onto the problems with the collision avoidance, the precision mode, and the player targeting of that AI custom turret controller, that old vanilla one. Today I want to go through a few of the designs that I've come across and a few of the problems and how I got it all working but it all started off with one simple missile that would just launch up, go towards the enemy Rhino Explorer I have set up over in the horizon and just intercept aka ram right into it. I thought, eh, one isn't quite enough so I built bigger, got more rockets, got more thrusters but I wanted 12 missiles not eight, and yet all of this couldn't support the weight. So I even went along the lines of getting a bigger tank, but never went along with it because it's ugly as hell, and went along the lines of just building a complete blank Jericho missile that I could just build anything I wanted off from scratch, however many times, and this was the result. This is the actual working drone or Jericho missile using the AI blocks. This one was unfortunately using my sensor mod, but the rest from here on out do not have any mods, scripts, DLCs, none of that jazz. They're completely 100% vanilla. And the reason why I wanted to check all the different types of that offensive AI block, one, stay at range, two, circle and orbit, and three hit and run. Technically the fourth is the intercept that the missiles themselves use. And this blue one is just a shielded individual missile to get some actual damage done because they don't have a lot of health with their warheads being on the front of them. So today I want to actually launch every single one of these up, all four of them, as the last four designs are the same thing but just differently refined with batteries, less batteries, uh, less commands, cleaned it up a little bit, etc, etc. So I'm going to launch this up and I'm going to explain how it all works as it's being launched up. Now I've got two timers, one to trigger all of those thrusters to, to turn on to go all the way up and an event controller to tell it to continue on with its journey towards the enemy when it reaches 300 meters above the ground. So as we see, it is now actually almost trying to circle around the enemy itself. But I find this one does not quite stay out of range as much as, as it should. Yes, it's swinging off to the right, as you can see. But sometimes it'll swing on the inside of the enemy turrets and get shot. So let's go down and let's see what sort of damage this, this thing can actually do. On each one of these mines, I do have a sensor on the front of it for the fact that I find exploding the warheads before ramming themselves into the actual grid performs much better than if it were to actually ram into it. So exploding six meters away from an enemy grid does a lot better than if it just rammed straight into it. So let me just go back and let's launch up the next one as that didn't damage anything whatsoever. Here we go, onto the circle and orbit, and this one performs a lot better for stationary targets. The reason why I built the hit and run behind me was for the fact that these two missiles I've just launched are not able to go fast or any speed that I actually set that AI flight block to. It's currently set at 50 and it just will not get anywhere near close to it. Where the hit and run is perfect for shooting out moving objects, for example the ship, as none of these other ones can actually catch up to it. So this one here is the same old, same old. It'll actually get to the circle and circle it. See if we can even get a nice good camera angle. Got to stay out of its view so it can still see the enemy and still target it. There we go. And then now I can actually go in front of it because another timer has triggered to release all of these missiles by starting all 12 timers at once. All timers just have different amounts or different values on each of them. And that's how I got it to work. 
So you can see this one is not actually too good. Um, oh, okay. It's trying to go for the thruster for some unknown reason. The target on these sorts of blocks, if I go over to the hit and run and go into the AI of each of them. So the way I've got it to work is that 9, 10, 11, and 12 is the first layer of four missiles and they're targeting the largest default. The second layer, 8, 7, 6, and 5, is targeting the closest weapons. And the last layer of 4, closest to the thrusters, so this one right here, is targeting the closest default as well. I have done so many different tests, and just depends on what sort of enemy you're actually trying to hit will depend on what you need to do. So since that got destroyed and I would like to try and start again, let's restart. Alright, here we are at the hit and run. Let's launch it up and let's see the difference for the fact that this one will actually go full speed towards the enemy and still have enough time to slow down. Just FYI, with this hit and run offensive AI command or targeting system, you need to make sure your player or anything around it is about 50 meters away from the drone itself as I find its internal collision avoidance messes up and doesn't like the player being close to it even though the AI flight of the Jericho missiles collision avoidance is off as well as that precision mode so once more it actually gets to the side of it still won't go within the actual target range and this is a much better way of targeting anything whether it be moving target or actually stationary as you can see just the angle of these missiles is much better compared to the last ones so once again it didn't really do much damage all right lastly we have the shielded missile that i am temporarily calling the loom the launch only once missile not too good at naming, but you be the judge on if you think that would be correct. This was an absolute pain in the butt to get working for the fact the shield mod. Getting them to realize they're on an individual grid themselves while being connected to the main grid of the Jericho missile was an absolute pain in the butt. And you have to turn them off and on, up and down multiple times throughout the entire life of the missile for them to actually work and not glitch out as we'll see in just a second get away 50 meters there we go and then that's when I can come on over here we go works much better does some serious damage let's click on over and see what we can do oh yep I think it's doing a little bit more damage I think and now you tell me. Let me know in the comments below as I am a solo editor and creator. I don't have anyone helping me do any of this stuff. So it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to see more, comment your thoughts down below and all that good jazz. Till next time, stay sharp as always. See ya.